So what is plantar fasciitis? That is a thick, thick piece of tissue that actually supports the entire arch of your foot. It inserts at the heel bone in the very bottom of your foot and extends all the way to your toes. And again, it supports your arch. More importantly for you, it's the most common cause of foot pain in the world. Everybody typically gets it, you know. You're more than likely to get it or you know someone who has had it. And so the issue is, what do you do about it? Well, the classic symptom is you wake up first thing in the morning, put your foot down and have excruciating pain in the bottom of your heel, okay? And as you get going, it sort of eases off. You sit down maybe for lunch, get back up again, hurts like crazy, same type of deal. That's typically, that's typical plantar fasciitis. Atypical is you can have pain a little bit further from the heel, more so in the middle of the foot, but either way, it's pain in the bottom of the foot. That is plantar fasciitis. So again, what do you do about it? So the good news is it has about a 95% cure rate with non-operative treatment. So it's a great chance you can get well without having surgery. So what do you do about that? So the mainstay of treatment is gonna be stretching. And your Achilles tendon in the back of your heel inserts to the heel and extends down to the plantar fascia. So we sort of look at that as one unit. So we have a series of exercises that we can, you can get on our website or we'll give you when you come into clinic and show you what to do about this. So a series of stretching for your Achilles tendon which takes pressure off your plantar fascia. Number two, general anti-inflammatory, a leave over the counter, maybe Motrin. Nice little trick too is get a frozen water or take a frozen water bottle, roll your foot over it or take a golf ball, throw it in the freezer and roll your arch over that every day as often as you can. If you do those three things, generally speaking, it will get well. We also have some kind of fancy plantar fascia night splints you wear at night that keeps your foot stretched at 90 degrees, which is also uh, very helpful as well. So unfortunately, not everybody responds, but like I said, generally you do. And if you don't respond, then you look at operative intervention. And for years, even I was trained, the gold standard was to make an incision in the bottom of your foot uh, to address the plantar fascia. But I just didn't think that was a great option, as did a bunch of other people. So I don't know about you, but I personally don't want an incision in the bottom of my foot. So we started looking at other, other areas and other things to do. So really there's two ways to operate on these patients. And so if you've got great range of motion, so you've been doing all your non-operative treatment, you've got great range of motion and your heel, your heel cord is not tight. So there's a procedure called a 10X procedure minimally invasive, it's ultrasound guided, it's a needle that goes in, you're obviously asleep, and uh, it sort of cuts part of the plantar fascia, does the same thing we would do if we opened the bottom of your foot, except it's through a pinhole. Outpatient, much better recovery. We actually got a grant from the American Orthopedic Foot and Ankle Society to study both the techniques we use, and both are very, very, very uh, helpful, and uh, uh, they're just great procedures, and we've proven that uh, with a paper that's published in a journal. So that's the 10X procedure, but say someone comes in and they've got plantar fascia, they failed the non-operative treatment, and they just don't have a great range of motion, they've got a contracture, we do something called what's called a gastroc recession. So we, we kind of go in back of the calf, at the, call it the gastroc soleus junction, kind of where your calf muscle begins. We make a small incision and we release part of the fascia. We don't cut your tendon in half, we release part of the fascia, which allows your foot to dorsiflex an extra 10 to 15 degrees, means it's closer to your face, which again takes pressure off the plantar fascia because it's really one unit and have tremendous success with that and we avoid operating in the bottom of your foot. So that is plantar fasciitis and that is our approach to treating plantar fasciitis if we see you as a patient.